Hey guys, it's Beaver. So this came out this morning and I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, fellow YouTuber, I could mail, he's been covering this case pretty closely. So I'm going to be linking uh, some of his videos down below. But this is about Leland Cavett. I mean, we've been following it here too, but he's definitely dove in and he's boots on the ground. This is about Leela Cavett. She's missing from Alabama now. She's been gone. Well, let's see. She's been gone close to three months or over three months. The man they believed is involved, Shannon Ryan, uh, he's been locked up for about two months now. They charged him in connection with her disappearance. And uh, anyways, they have, uh, FBI is in Florida right now at Coconut Creek, they are looking in a landfill. Now, this is supposed to be like a week-long search. Now, the place, the gas station where she was last seen, Shannon Ryan was seen throwing trash away at this very same gas station. So these dumpsters at this gas station, this is where they ended up. So this is a long process, and they are actively, have confirmed, they are looking for either her or items connected to her, but we can definitely say that it is related to Leela Cabot. So let's take a read, and after I read, I'm going to play the video, the news video. Investigation underway at Coconut Creek Landfield in search of missing Alabama mother. All right, Coconut Creek, Florida. Local and federal investigators are searching for a missing Alabama mother in South Florida Landfield. FBI and local investigators have began, begun a search on Monarch Hill Landfield in Coconut Creek as they investigate the disappearance of 21-year-old Leela Cabot. My God, she's so young. Went missing in Broward County in July. Uh, Sky Force, however, overseen several crews uh, could be seen digging through landfill Thursday morning. Clues and surveillance videos led investigators to the landfill. The bureau arrived with several trucks and set up tents and other large equipment for what could be a week's long, if not longer, search. Investigators said Cabot traveled to South Florida from Alabama to meet self-proclaimed witch Shannon Ryan. And guys, uh, yeah, be, de be sure to check out the videos with this self-proclaimed witch. He is insane. Detectives believe Ryan is connected to the disappearance of Cabot and has since been arrested for kidnapping of Cabot's two-year-old son. Cabot was found wandering the streets of Miramar on his own. Ryan took to social media and claimed he was the last person to see Cabot. The FBI said surveillance cameras captured Ryan tossing trash into the dumpster at the same gas station Cabot was last seen alive. What investigators found in the dumpster led them to the landfill? Authorities urge anyone with any information about this case to call 1-800-CALL-FBI or go to fbi.gov tips backslash tips. A $10,000 reward is being offered, which I feel it should be more. I always feel like the reward money should be more. But this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. So um, I'm going to leave you with the video these news uh video where they're on the ground there in florida and we're going to be following this closely and i will um link some videos for reference down below if y'all are interested in this case and uh we just say prayers and that this family can get some kind of closure <laughs> Now to a story you saw first on 7, investigators combing a South Florida landfill for clues, searching for any sign of a young mother who has been missing since the summer. 7's Andrew Scheinthal reports now from that landfill in Coconut Creek. The FBI turning a landfill into the scene of a major investigation as detectives continue to look into the disappearance of Layla Covet. Their operation at the Monarch Hill landfill began Thursday morning the Bureau bringing several trucks, setting up tents, and other pieces of large equipment for what could be a weeks-long search, if not longer. Covet first went missing in late July, when investigators say she traveled to South Florida from Alabama to meet a self-proclaimed witch whose name is Shannon Ryan. 
Detectives believe Ryan is connected to the disappearance of the 21-year-old, and he was arrested for the kidnapping of her two-year-old son, Camden, who was found wandering the streets of Miramar on his own. Coffitt's family traveled to South Florida over the summer, pleading for their loved one's return. We just want to know that you're okay. Please just reach out to anyone. Before Ryan was taken into custody in August, he posted a video to Facebook discussing the case. We have a missing woman. And I gave the police everything that I know. The FBI says surveillance cameras captured Ryan tossing trash into a dumpster at the same gas station Covet was last seen alive. It's that dumpster that led investigators to this landfill where they hope they can find clues into her disappearance. There's no telling how long the FBI will be at this spot, but anyone with any information is urged to give them a call at 1-800-CALL-FBI. We're in Coconut Creek. I'm Andrew Scheinthal, 7 News.